Hey everybody, Boar Mac here for some Gene Forge 5. We're, uh, it's been a while since we last recorded anything, but, uh, in particular, I've been eager to get back into this. Although I have uh, done a little research, nothing on the storyline, just, uh, on the game in general. And from what I've read, this is going to be the hardest of them all. Which is kind of intimidating, considering the terrible time I had in Gene Forge 2. But we'll just have to see how it goes, I guess. Hopefully my uh, battle magic will uh, save the day. <clears throat> That's my hope, anyway. So, uh, when we left off... I was to find the Shadow Road and check out Bastin's room. So, uh, let's find this dude's room and, uh, see if there's any evidence of his naughty doings in there. This is a very bare bones room. Can anyone see me? No. Then those living tools are mine. Anything in here? I'll take that. The ceramic jar contains nothing but trash and a few scraps of ash. It looks like someone burned up the papers in their brassiere and dumped the remains here. Inspect the ashes closely and have a rare and unaccustomed stroke of luck. Seems and someone was careless in their haste. A scrap of paper remained charred and barely legible. It reads, and escape easily in the fire and confusion. Flee to the murk wood and we will contact you in spirit. <laughs> With zero luck, that's uh, probably something you can't fail. Go on that. Found a scrap of paper in Bastion's room. Something about the Mirkwood. Takes the scrap between her thumb and forefinger and carefully examines it. This is a s bit of luck, not a huge one. The Mirkwood is west of here. It's not small. Still, the brigands have a cachet or camp there. It's the only hint we have. I do believe that I have a new task for you. Your tone of voice strongly implies that refusal is not an option. Before you go, speak with my shapers. I will make sure that they provide training for you. Okay. Well, getting shuffled around between the various uh, counselors. Each of these alcoves contains a huge crystal, taller than you, with smoothly polished sides. A pair of shapers stares into each crystal, concentrating on something. Inside the crystals, you can see dim, flickering shapes. Moving closer, you can see that the shapers are watching creations. You see images of battle creations, each somewhere distant, on patrol, hunting for rogues. Devices like this are rare and powerful. Using them, a shaper can send creations far afield and may still maintain total control over them. Using these crystals, a handful of shapers can command an army. Go north, go south. Patrolling, I guess. I just gotta figure out where her shapers are. Like you. The master of this large lab. He is an elderly shaper. You only catch glimpses of his face in the shadows of his hood. His skin is deeply lined and looks almost gray. Walks up to you, examines you as if you were an intriguing specimen. Very interesting. You look so normal, but the skin it is waxen. Your eyes have a hint of glow, that you are clearly much older than you look. But I am impolite. I am Sage Quoth. The story directed me to treat you as if you were normal. I am the research master here. I get training. You're an outsider. Well, I do not teach outsiders. The story asked me to teach you. I will do what I can, but only out of respect for her. She says that you will need to do more for her. She will have me teach you greater secrets. We'll see. Ah, Vlish. Okay, I 
need to find more money. But I can make a Vlish now. Captain. Commander of the Haria Kel Guard, he is pacing nervously in the entry hall, walking in circles around the strange plants. When you approach him, he gives you a little nod. He's an old warrior, clearly the survivor of many campaigns. When he rinses his visor of his helmet to greet you, you notice that his skin is an unusual reddish brown hue. He says, I am Captain Hershen. I welcome you to the Haria Kel Fortress of Astoria. Explore freely, but stay out of the locked areas. You will be watched constantly. Any crimes will be punished rapidly and severely. You... What do you know about the assassination attempt? Carrying out my own investigations, I would ask that you not spread word of it. It would interfere with our search. It would spread rumors and unease. Where are you from? Jekyll's from? I'm from here. I'm a proud descendant of the woods, people. Most of the few that remain hide our past. I do not. Why do they hide their past? Out of loyalty to the Shapers or fear of being uh, thought disloyal, disloyal. The woods people fought the Shapers once. Killed many of them. For some of us, memories are long. Who are the Woods people? We lived in these lands before the Shapers came. We are the ones who built Haria Kill before they took it from us. Mera was our city. Tev was our word for Woods. Mera Tev was the name we gave these lands. Many of us died. Most of the rest intermarried and faded away. A few of us that still clearly bear the blood of the Woods people still remain. You work for the Shapers? The wars that took our lands were centuries ago. I can mourn a time lost and still understand that those days are gone forever. Star is a wise leader. I swore an oath to her. I will fulfill that oath. She knows this. As a guard command, do you ever, ever hire warriors to perform tasks? I do at times I pay mercenaries and wanderers to do jobs that need doing, but are low priority. I do have such a, such a task. Okay. I'll tell you about a bandit about the bandit and Benhold. Self-styled bandit king, though he is simply somewhat more effective thug with delusions of grandeur. Mythology has sprung up about him. How he taunts the shapers and they cannot catch him, and so on. It is entertaining for a certain sort of outsider. There are rumors that Benhold is hiding in the fins in the middle of Meritev. I would have you confirm or rebuke these tales. What does he do? He robs. Typical highwayman. The only thing that makes him unusual is that he targets shapers, more than I would think wise. Any suggestions on where I should start my search? I th think I have heard that there has been bandit activity in the Mirkwood, west of here. Real bandits, not fantasies. If you encounter those bandits, you might question them before killing them. Find out if Benhold really exists. Does he? I don't know. I would like to know. If he is, I would prefer that he be killed. Okie dokie. Let's go find us a bin hold and then look around and apparently Mirkwood is the place to go. So we're going to Mirkwood. You enter Mirkwood. These are lowlands then at the northwest corner of the Marafin. Fog tends to accumulate in this depression at the base of the mountains, leaving these woods gray and dim most of the year. Though the woods are quiet you s and still, you can't shake the feeling that someone is watching you. Of course, you suspect that this bit of paranoia affects everyone who passes through. Ow. Good job, Maxwell. Fishing rod and a belt. I already got a plus intelligence belt. Why would I ever grab another one? Unless it was plus more intelligence. 
probably need to put some points in the luck. I don't know how much luck is enough, though. Emogene. You see what is depressingly familiar sight in these chaotic times, an armed and dirty person standing at the crossroads waiting for travelers. A brigand or petty thug ready to extort passersby. The difference is that this woman is smarter than most. When she sees you, she realizes that you are a difficult target. She turns and runs down the northern path. Run away! Hey. Hey, you. The entrance to the bandit camp. A motley assortment of thugs, escaped serviles, and armed refugees are clustered around cooking fires, trying to starve off... Uh, stave off the chill of the mist. When you arrive into view, the weapons are drawn. Before you can get much further, the woman you saw at the crossroads runs up and stops you. Hold there, traveler. I'm Emogene. These were our lands. None pass through here without a permission. None enter our camp without mine. We have no quarrel with you. We'll let you travel down the road free of charge. You won't enter here without permission, though. She draws her baton to emphasize the point. Hunting down Bandit Menhold. Do you know where he is? I might note something. I also might not. This is our land. We want to keep peaceful relations with those near us, especially those allied with the most deadly banded in Terrestria. I'm not saying anything. Trade? Hmm. <laughs> she wants my stuff. What are you doing out here? Make a living in difficult times, that is all. We keep the roads clear of rogue creations and villains. In return for this difficult service, we require a fee or those who would pass. Of course, as I said, you will not need to pay. You don't keep the roads clear, though. I just got attacked by claw bugs as soon as I got in. So you extort money from refugees and travelers. What happens to those who don't pay you? Oh, they pay us, as they should, as is fair. And if we are forced to, we teach them manners by making them pay more than they would have had to otherwise. But we are not violent unless forced. And this is no concern of yours. You are not one of Astoria's soldiers, so you extort money. I object to the word extort. It's an ugly term. We are helping them. If they are so tight with their coins that they can't pay us for the service, it's good that we are here to teach them manners. Tell me where the bandit is. Then you're gonna stop extorting people. We don't want to fight you, but we will if you force us. And what do you care if the occasional bandit refugees use a ring or handful of coins? It's not your concern. Go. If you enter our camp, we will force you to leave. She's pretty tough. 500 health. Not saying I couldn't kill her. Because I could. It would just be a pain. That shielded her. Doggone it. She's marked as a uh, neutral slash friendly until combat actually starts. attack you right away, but they are ready to fight you if you intrude upon their territory. Stop extorting them! Fine. I'm just going in then. They don't fight you, but they aren't going to let you escape and report their presence to the authorities either. Ouch! Jeez. Hey, you're not allowed to make noises, program.
much stuff stuff do I have to sell? Well, I'll deal with them soon, but I guess I'm going to explore a little more. Dodge, Maxwell. This isn't going to end well either. I got to uh, attack on my first turn. There we go. So they'll be hostile to me and not my blue lizard. Cryora Maxwell. Shield. Uh, don't need it. So the only thing in this area is the bandit camp. Good to know. We're gonna go back to Mara and sell some stuff. And see if I can't make a Vlish of a higher level. Taylor workshop. Smithy. I could sell stuff there. I'll touch the essence if I want to, and you can't stop me. Maybe I can't sell things here. Shapers do what you do. Okay. Maybe I can't make anything there. He's sort of a crafting station, I guess. Taylor shop, partly pr proprietor, makes fine robes and other clothing for the shapers and merchants who live here and pass through. Sees you ever, you immediately closes up shop, hangs a back soon sign on the door, and pulls you in. You're sh when he's sure that you're alone and nobody's listening in, he says, I am Jurgen Taylor and fellow friend of Rawal. He pulls down the front of his robe, the sh and you see a telltale mark of a control tool in his chest. I'm glad you found your way to me. We can help each other in service of the Master. You're a servant of Rawal? Rawal? Yes, I am. I was a tailor in the foundry making protective garments for the Shaper workers. Rawal saw me and recognized my loyalty and asked me to come south and be his eyes. For Shaper to ask me uh, for help personally. Me, a humble tailor, to personally meet a member of the council and be asked for help. I have helped him as much as I could ever since. You implanted a control tool in your chest? Jurgen winces at the memory. That did happen, yes. Gave me something to help me sleep. It didn't work entirely. But it is in the past. I've been completely loyal to Shaper Raoul, and he has no reason to hurt me. 
How are you rewarded? Well, honors me by sharing some of the wealth of the Shapers with me. I live in great comfort, of course. I do not need that. It is simply an honor to be serve a member of the council. What do you do for him? A little so far. Watch who comes in, who leaves. Watch a story of his actions. Note all the creations that go unpunished. Report on her treachery. It's a great pleasure to work for one as wise as Shaper Raoul. How's the story of treacherous? It's an open secret that she wants to negotiate with the rebels. She wants peace with them. Wants to give them land. Wants surrender. None dare call it treason, treason because she is in the council. Shaper Raoul will make sure that she pays. Why is he so wise? The success of the rebellion has shown how weak and divided the council is. They aren't used to seeing themselves as vulnerable. Each is panicking in a different way. Raoul alone is calm. He stays back, increases his influence, once the others have broken, he will step in and take control. Then we will all ha then we will have victory in the war. Shopping? You what? Shop? Sure. I want to sell this and this and these, all seven of them, yes. Seven hundred coins now. What do you have for sale? Ooh, a girdle of strength. Only plus one though. You want my help? Um, I would not ask. I would not interfere with your own work. Every opportunity has arisen, and I would not let it pass. Southwest of here, there is a town called Hleft in the swamp. It was destroyed by the Unbound. There was an herb works there, operated by a powerful shaper named Flores. Flores was killed fighting the Unbound, but I have heard that his laboratory escaped destruction. Yeah? So it is possible that his notes are still there. His research, shaper writings, Flores is a skilled alchemist. Who knows what he might have discovered? Those papers would be very valuable. Many parties would pay you handsomely for them. You should recover them for Shaper Raoul. I can pay you well. Not sure I want to give him those, though. I'm not very fond of Raoul. What with the uh, murderous thing in my chest. Not a way to make friends. It is a good way to influence others, though. What with the uh, threat of death looming overhead constantly forever. So we're going to go back to you and get another level of Vlish. Leash. Where is he? I don't know how you can beat the Unbound. Training. Shaping. Oh, it's 850. Darn. Well, I can... Uh... Look at all these offensive spells. I'm glad you can just straight up train now too, but it's expensive. Labels don't give the names of the components, instead they bear odd combinations of letters and numbers and you can't identify anything. Well, that's probably something I can mess with later. 